ain't been switch. broke in a minute. Nah, nah, I tryna run these digits. Nah, nah, Put my little bro on the pin. Nah, nah, we hop out the car with extensions. Nah, nah, these niggas be pistols, they switchin'. Nah, 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 Playin' with bro, then you go on the mission. Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worry about bitches. Yo, what is going on, y'all? It's your boy, Vel, and we're back with another Mobile Legends video. In this one, we're going to be going over a pretty big topic. Zayn is officially leaving North America, and he's not going to Indo. So this video is kind of concerning. There's a lot going on, and I know that I'm seen as a Zayn fanboy as well for some reason, but it seems like when people are just truthful and honest about who's carried a country, it's like it's no secret no one has accomplished what he was able to accomplish with BTK. And yes, it may have been other, those players he was playing with may have been in this community before he came and they may have been good players. But after he came, the, these players and, and the team just took things to a whole new level. Like you can't dispute facts. And I hate how people try to discredit facts by saying, oh, you love Zayn. It's like, bro, why are you trying to dispute facts and go against facts just because you are in your feelings because he said something that hurt you one time or you don't like his personality? Get over it. Who cares? Are we sitting here talking about feelings? Is he your therapist or is he a competitive player? Like, what are we talking about right now? Forget your feelings. Let's talk about winning games. That's what this is all about. But anyway, man, we should check this out. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Let's get it. Any Indo news? I don't know if I'll be able to go to Indo, guys. I think it's too close now to the deadline. To be honest. I think it's too close to the deadline. I think even if I go and try out, there's no way I can get everything settled within the next two weeks. Uh, within like the next month, actually. I mean, to uh, actually go. Are so you gonna stay in it? Well, probably fucking not. I'm thinking maybe I'll just go around the world and just play in different servers. Do you see this? This man would just rather go around the world and play in different servers. He doesn't even want to play in in this server. And obviously he doesn't want to play in this server because truthfully, him playing in this server without a team would not be good for his career. Because if he goes against them and they start winning and things like that, it'll be a reflection of him when really it's just not many people he could team with capable of taking on those players. We all know that he's more than capable but it's not like, it's not likely. It's just going to be the same battle, constant battle back and forth. So much stress every time he gets matched up against them because he knows that somebody's going to clip it. Somebody, yo, like, you know one of my titles. Oh, Moba Zayn gets absolutely destroyed by Go Hoon. Like, yeah, bro, you, I mean, you know how it goes. You know how the game goes. So does he want to put himself in a setting where that's going to be happening to him this entire time? Or does he want to go somewhere else where he has a chance of building a new name and even more of a reputation and having some positive headlines spun about him as opposed to all the drama and foolishness going on in North America? So if he's not going to be on the main team, it makes sense for him not to be on any team in North America. I, I honestly, I can understand this decision. I don't want to stay in an name. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to make an NA team. I don't want to, man. I really don't want to make an NA team. But no, I'm not going to make an NA team. Even if I can't go to Indo. Because at this point, if he made an NA team, he would just be throwing together a team just to beat TOB. And even if you can beat them, that doesn't mean that that NA team would be of the caliber to actually compete you know, in, in Asia. So what what is the point? Like, he's not interested in forming a team just to beat T.O.B., just to win ranked games with against T.O.B. It's like it, there's nothing in that for him, really. So it makes a lot of sense why he would rather just leave because what what the heck is he going to do? Like, like what is he going to do? Like So, yeah, that, that's, that's the situation that he's being put in because of the petty North American drama. So the biggest face of this entire country, and when it comes down to esports, is deciding to leave because he's been pushed out. And people want to sit here and say, oh, like, like, what about how he treats these other people and stuff like that? North America won and was winners when he came onto the scene. They, they were making a name. They were rising up. And it's, it's crazy that people try to discredit him. Like, I've heard things like, oh, Cardi did it too. 
Cardi was here before he came. What did Cardi actually do to move North America forward before Zayn got here? Nothing. Cardi was just a toxic trash talker. That's it. Like, that, that, that's it. But Cardi is a talented player, and when Zayn came on the scene, Cardi applied himself in a different way to where they all went to a different level together. Yeah, they complimented each other. It took multiple members of the team to make happen what happened, but at the end of the day, Zayn was the key ingredient that made North America successful like it is. So, yeah. It's our homeland. And I don't think I can at this point. It's too, it's too late. It's too close. The deadline for the roster lock is too close. I don't think I can. Still no sponsor? For what? An NA team? Welcome to Mobile I'm not I'm not doing the third series of Mo of Moba Zane versus TOB. I'm not. That shit should have ended after the first series. <laughs> This is a three-part fucking series for no reason. <laughs> now, so you see, he said it's a three-part series for no reason. Yo, like, as you can see how he feels about this whole situation, it's crazy. It's just really weird, bro. Like, instead of trying to do what's best for the country and trying to win, these guys want to click up like little fangirls and just to try to... To do what? Like to to prove you're better than him? Because if he le like you're not proving that you're better than him, you just don't want him to be a part. You don't want him to sit at the cool kids table. That, like that's really what it is. And I don't I don't, really don't get it. I don't get the mindset of North Americans. Do you all want to win? Do you want to really make money? Do you want to run it up? Because why not? It's just weird. And a lot of people saying that Zayn can't can't uh, fit into the um. Meta Zane's hero pool is not big. You're saying a lot of foolishness because the fact of the matter is when Zane was the was the lead pe person on the team they were following, we actually made it far as a country. Like you can come up with any excuse in the world. The only fact here is when Zane and was with BTK leading them to victory, there was actually they were closer to victory than North America has ever been. That's the only fact here. So you can say his hero pool this, his hero pool that. All of these excuses people are making those are that's speculation that's your own personal thoughts north america needs to move more so with facts the fact of the matter is zane is a crucial piece of bringing this country ahead and these people acting like children and morons it's just it's, it's weird it's very weird like why they would want to destroy they hate zane so much that they would risk destroying an entire country that's crazy it's getting kind of fucking annoying I'm not make. I'm not. Uh, I'm not playing in it. I'd rather go country to country, literally throw a dart on a map and play rank. Might really be content creator time. Might really have to be. Hate to tell y'all. This man would rather be a content creator than actually going through through this drama and pettiness anymore. And I mean, I understand it, Joe. I definitely understand it. It sucks. But yeah, man, that's where we're going to leave it at for this video. Um, honestly, I believe that this is seriously going to be the start of the fall of North America. And it's sad to see. I hate to see it happen. But it's like these these guys, they, they, they're, not, they're not growing up. And it's not something that the fans and audience is going to get and understand. It's just really not something that every single person is going to see. Because a lot of people are just like, oh, I just don't want to play with a toxic player. I wouldn't want to either. And I get everyone's perspective. But the fact of the matter is, and I'm not I'm not even agreeing with the way that he behaves or treats people. Yes, there probably is things that he needs to work on and, and be better at. But to the extreme that the, that, that this, this, this side is going to, just to try to bring him down, that's ridiculous. And you hate a man so much that you would want to see a whole country destroyed just to get at that man. That's a pathetic mindset, in my opinion. I, I hate people who would think that way. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's where we're going to leave it. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and leave me in the comment section some of your thoughts on this situation. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.